Continue on Road 7900 for three miles. Well, how you doing, Charlie? Doing pretty good? How you doing? Been a good day. We're almost there. I gotta tell you, the thrill for me of doing this is the anticipation of uh, what, what lies around the next corner. I can tell Charlie's pretty excited too. You know, we've been driving all day uh, and we're here and I'm so excited to see this. This is a UNESCO World Heritage Site right here in our country. Charlie, this is a UNESCO World Heritage Site right here in New Mexico and anybody can just drive to it. It's a massive stone set of buildings and structures. Here we are. You can see the sign is riddled with a few bullet holes, but it really does amaze me that we can step back in time and go to a place like this. Oh, the pavement ends. The pavement ends. You always know you're going somewhere cool when the pavement ends. It's a wild horse, Charlie. It's a wild horse out there. All right, about 15 miles down this road. Uh, we're going to see something pretty incredible. And again, I like to always say, anybody can come here. This is in the United States of America. All you got to do is get in the car and drive. Charlie. Charlie. Look. Cows. Charlie, cows, look. Look at all the cows. <coughs> Quiet. Good girl. Look at all the beautiful cows. A nice furry cow. Ooh, a bull. Let's not maybe go any closer to that guy. Let's go back to the car now. That bull was looking pretty unhappy with me. Definitely staring me down, that guy. You wanna, you wanna take on the bull, Charlie? Not a good idea. Well, we just passed a sign that says they've st the county is no longer maintains the road from this point forward. And you can see that that is true. The question is, why? Why? going to such an incredible piece of history in America, why wouldn't they want a nice road that everybody could come see this incredible place? I gotta admit, I'm a little bit surprised that this is so underdeveloped. I mean, this is probably one of the things that we could be a little bit more proud of in this country where we're about to go. And I'm not saying we're not proud. Maybe I'm gonna have to do some investigation and find out why this is being so well hidden. I'm also filled with questions. Why is something that is probably one of the most incredible archeological 
sites in the United States, why is it so hidden? Why do we never talk about this place? Why doesn't everybody know about this place? Why is the road not paved? This is a UNESCO heritage site. An ancient city that was built thousands of years ago, just sitting here in New Mexico. I'm excited, don't get me wrong. I love when things are off the beaten track. That's what this is all about, but I'm just surprised, that's all. A lot of the places that I've gone up till now have been a little easier to access. The fact is, from my research and just reading and talking to people about it, this Chaco Culture Monument is, is absolutely one of the most spectacular archaeological sites in America. You'd think they'd just paved the road. Oh my gosh. Look at this. This is beautiful. The road sucks, but it's beautiful. Wow. I bet the road was better a thousand years ago. Serious. The road was better a thousand years ago. I'm sure of it. Come on. Oh look. You have arrived. They started paving it here. Whew. Why don't you pave the whole thing? That might make more sense. Huh? We made it. kind of emotional uh, just looking at this it's massive this is just one of several of these structures there's all along this cliff there's more of these and you think to yourself that we're taught in school that Columbus discovered America but here this was this massive city full of life and trade and this was all going on hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years before Columbus discovered America right hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years before 1100 just imagine the year 1100 this place was full of life people dancing eating singing gathering trading Coming from miles around, they found macaw feathers here, which are not native to this area. So they knew that people were coming from as far south as the Yucatan Peninsula further. And you can see how it's built amongst these canyons. And you got to think it's like purposeful, like it was some sort of natural amphitheater. And they were here celebrating and singing. And the sound is very... Unlike anything here, there's a silence. There's no wind. Because of these canyons protecting this area. And it must have just created such an incredible social gathering point for people. This was the center of the this was the center of the world right here in in in, in, in America. People from all around came here to this spot. There's nothing like this in America. Not this size. I think everybody should, should come here. If you come here, it, it puts, puts perspective on things. It makes you realize that, you know, 
We're much smaller than we, we think we are, much less significant. Oh, wow. Whoa. Oh my God, you gotta crouch down to come in here. It just goes on and on. And look, there's still wood. There's still wood. Wood. This is wood from the year 1100 when they built this. Unbelievable. Guess wood holds up pretty good. It's incredible. More and more and more. I'm actually lost. I don't know which way to go. Wow. You gotta really duck down to go through these. Oh wow, this is a long thing. Oh shit. Amazing. Just amazing.
elk. Don't bark at it. Don't bark. Don't bark, Charlie. Good girl. You're learning not to bark. Good girl. Good girl. Here. Let me give you a treat. You're good. That was good. That was good. Let me give you a treat. For being so good, you're not barking at the elk. Good girl. Smell them. So much fun. 